Hey y'all, welcome to Horrible Gaming. My name is Nora and on today's video we are touring my Finnish tropical city island. I'm very excited to share this island with you today because it has been one of the most enjoyable build processes that I have had in a very long time. Now I know I said this about my last island, but no, this island totally takes the cake. I really enjoyed mixing together both city core elements and natural elements on this island. And I feel like if you're not a city core kind of person, Maybe this island will give you some more natural inspiration if you're wanting to do a tropical inspired island. Regardless, I hope that today's island just brings you a ton of Animal Crossing inspo. And of course, I hope y'all have so much fun visiting. If you're new here, I have recorded and documented the whole entire build process on my channel. 99% of this island was actually done on live streams. I also feel like what made the build process so much more enjoyable on this island too was the fact that I was building it with my community here on YouTube. And that just made just the whole island so much more enjoyable to create. I love this island too, because so many of my followers put in ideas to um, make this island theme come to life. There were so many times where I wanted to delete this island out of stress of not knowing where I wanted things to go. And the chat was just so incredibly helpful. I think that's just what makes this island so rewarding to me is the fact that I literally built it with every Everybody here on YouTube. So my vision for this island was to, of course, use a lot of natural areas and blend it out with city core. I've actually had a lot of people asking for ideas around this, but I kind of avoided it for a really long time because I didn't even know how to do this. And I finally decided to tackle the idea of having both natural areas on a city island. And this island is the results of it. I'm very happy with how everything turned out. I do have one negative and it's of course that I ran out of space. If the island was at least like two times bigger, I really wanted to have more city core like structures, but um, that is definitely my personal negative is I wish I could have done more structure builds. But what I do like about this island is the fact now I can offer a tropical theme that doesn't focus heavily on structures because I know a lot of my followers are new to city core, or maybe you just get overwhelmed with those builds and you kind of just want to do something a little bit more peaceful. I feel like this island is very peaceful in that way with the build process that we had just because we're not focusing a lot on doing these city core buildings. We're focusing on making the main island flow right and having all these lush green areas. So I feel like it did work out in a way too. So on my last tropical city, I did like this beachy highway and I'll have the original video linked in the video's description in case you wanna see that version of it. But I really wanted to incorporate that type of build on this island being that I was basically remaking that whole entire theme, but with a different color palette. So many of my followers on my live streams wanted to see that build come to life on this island again and I really like how it ended up transitioning especially over here towards the abandoned pool I was also able to place Abel's and I thought that was a really nice addition as well being that it just really complemented all the green tones I was using and plus it got an NPC building placed I think one of my favorite locations of this island is this little roundabout area here at the edge of the map I really like this spot because we have several different transitions that are a little bit different from what I normally do this is also where I was incorporating some more natural areas on the island as well. The roundabout also connects over here towards the highway and again this is the same highway build that I did on my older beach town. I just kind of changed up some of the transitions a bit but what I liked most about this recreation is the fact that we were able to make some beach shacks at the edge of the map and in the middle of the highway so you'll see those builds once we get further into the island tour but that was a huge plus on my end because last highway build we were not able to do any structures with the highway. Another thing I really liked is when we did this natural transition, I was actually able to decorate one of the beach rocks over there. I usually normally don't decorate my beaches or any of, you know, the exterior parts of the island just because of burnout, but this island was a lot different with that case. I was able to get some beaches actually decorated. I did, however, leave the left side of the beach empty just because there was a couple locations where item loading was becoming an issue and I didn't want to obviously contribute to more lag. So those are the only beaches that I did not decorate. Anyways, over here by the highway, we have some beach shacks and these were inspired by my friend Pickleton on Instagram. I will have their socials linked in the video's description and of course anybody else I took inspo from on my island. But I really liked that this kind of transitioned out our highway and then I was able to also do a little natural transition below it and this is how it connects over here towards the plaza. So on my last live stream, we did not get this location decorated and obviously I finally got it done. I went 
went for a simple filler build over here of beach shacks and then you go in front of this one right here and we actually have a little sitting area on the beach that I decorated and I just thought this was a really cute little hidden detail. This whole entire location was actually one of the harder spots to decorate for me. I avoided it on pretty much every live stream because I really didn't know what to do with it but I think it ended up transitioning pretty well. This whole location in general was really difficult to decorate with just because there wasn't that much space to work with but I think going the simple route especially in these filler areas was the best option and this road over here is the same one that connects in front of the plaza that we did on the very first live stream of the island but over here behind those beach shacks this is actually another location I was struggling with on my live stream too I ended up doing a little mini boardwalk over here that kind of leads up to the perspective and of course I decorated some beaches over here as well so over here by my beach perspective I also was able to place my campsite and normally I don't do my campsite I kind of just ignore it on the beach so I was really excited that I got it decorated too for this island I would have time traveled to get the camper on there for decor purposes for the dream address but on the DA I was able to get a double rainbow so I'd much rather obviously have the rainbow over the camping tent any day so over here is the beach perspective build and this was a build actually I did last year that never made it onto an actual island just because I didn't really know how to transition around it so I was really excited that Driftwood actually got this build. I have wanted this on an island for quite some time but I've always ran out of space and it was one of the first builds that I did on this island to ensure that I got it on here. Anyways before today's video ends I do want to give a huge shout out to all of my channel members. Thank you so much for supporting me as a creator. Just your support in general means the absolute world to me. So huge thank you to all of our channel members. Thank you to Alicia Ramirez, Kitty Inks, Hannah, Kirby, Moody, Camille, Fox Sake Gaming, Rageful Games, Rin, L, Chrissy, Wisteria Crossing, Sunny, Sunny Knight, Marco Aru, Beacon of Nick, Pippacino, BJ, Debbie R, Def R, Robin, Donna, Noe Pico, Trisha Dunn, Roxanne Boule, Queen V, Kelly Stone, Jaminal Crossing, Manders, Nicole, The Eco 27, Luna Girl, Sarah B, H Beatrice, Coma, Ray, Icy Gaming, Jasmine Dean, Jazz, Let's Play K, Luann Marie, Brooke, Kay Thompson, Jet, Monica B, Catherine Funk, Sherry Blossom, Javi, Hunter Adventure, The Bellarific, It's Your Girl Crystal, Mickey, Cherry Dot Crossing, Irish Lady 51, Opal of Wisteria, The Artsy Gamer, Dami, Osmond, Madison Rachel, and Adriana Dawson. Thank y'all so much for watching and have a horrible day.